I'm Kay Askins. I'm a sommelier and owner of Best Little Wine and Books in Lockhart, Texas. These are my liquid pleasures. Texas has a lot of really um, adventurous drinkers. Again, we're known for really cold beer and great whiskey, but we also have people who really enjoy that element of being able to enjoy food and beverage together. Wine is a perfect example of a beverage that is very versatile. Um, it pairs well with a lot of different cuisines. The wine I'd like to show you today is Alois Legator's Classic Varietal Series, Schiava. This is a native grape varietal to Alto Adige, which is in northern Italy, and most recognizable for white varietals like Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, this varietal drinks very light, refreshing, similarly to Pinot Noir, which is also grown in that region. Wine transports you to places that you may not be able to go yourself. Um, it sets goals for you to develop your palate, learn about the history of a new place, and breaks the barriers for what we know, especially in Texas. We're known for, you know, grilled meats and beer and sweet wines, but there's a lot more that goes into food and beverage than that. Uh, Texas is a melting pot of a lot of different cultures, and that's something that I love being able to showcase. Here we get classic strawberry, cherry, bright red fruits. There's a little bit of floral to the nose, like violets. Really light, really nice structured acid. Uh, Alto Adige is shaded by the Dolomite mountainous region. So a lot of limestone soils, um, this gives the wine a lot of nutrients to help it grow, which gives it that nice, like, linear minerality and really bright acidity. Alois Legator is one of the pioneers of biodynamic farming and winemaking in Alto Adige. They were founded in 1823 and ever since have been completely family owned and operated. Their biodynamic principles really tie in Alto Adige as a region, but also gives you a more specific sense of taste of place that goes from farm to class. This wine is light. It's very slightly fruity, has this the nice uh, right amount of spice to it. I would pair this with uh, Speck, which is native to that region as well but otherwise any cured meat will do like prosciutto. One of my favorite books to pair with wine, especially a wine like Legator Schiava, is Fire and Wine. So as it sounds, this is a book that is just about being able to grill and prepare a lot of different varieties of meats and also what wine is gonna pair best with it. Um, within this book, if there is a varietal that you'd like to try that you've seen at your local wine shop, like Schiava, but maybe it's not listed in this book, you can at least find a wine that is similar in body. So if we were looking for the perfect Schiava and food pairing to go with this book and prepare that for our friends, then that's when we would look through and maybe look for something like Pinot Noir or Beaujolais Gamay or Grenache. I always love introducing people to new grape varietals that they wouldn't ordinarily see on a menu or even on a shelf. Varietals that if you were to travel to that place would actually be prominent. 
Um, that's the great thing about having a small wine shop. It's a little bit more intimate. You get to know your consumer a little better, your guests that are drinking on site. Um, they come in, say, I love Pinot Noir, and I say, okay, great. Do you want to try something outside the box? Let's try Schiava. Thank you.